perspective. If you are new, then welcome. My name is Kalita Salia. And first things first, I just wanted to say I feel so cool today. I feel like an angel. <laughs> anyway, so welcome to my channel. This is Kalita's Perspective, where I show you, the viewer, my perspective of life and how I view this reality through my lens. Another thing, I feel really cute today and I've got quite a lot to say so there will be a lot of videos of me looking exactly like this and um, I don't think I'll put them out per but like weekly I know I've, got, I've kind of been behind <laughs> but I do have a lot to say so depending on how I'm able to edit I may increase the flow of my videos so anyway without further ado this is how I shall present myself to you for the next however many videos. Um, so in this video I wanted to talk about truth and how to find truth. From my perspective, this is what I've come to see and realise within my journey on how to actually find truth and to know that that is... my. I know my regular viewers already know I came from a relig religious background but those of you who don't know I used to be a... Seventh Day Adventist Christian, um, you know, watch all my channels, look around, you'll see my history. My history. Yeah, once I, I found that once I passed the anger stage of Christianity, because we all go through it, those who leave, it's normal, it's completely fine, embrace every emotion. But once I passed that anger stage, ultimately, I just wanted truth. Now, if you're watching this video, then you want truth too. I feel that there's a very, not everyone in this world does want truth. They're happy to kind of just be like, oh, okay, that don't make sense, whatever, I'm living as my daily life. But I want truth. <laughs> that is all I want, really. So I got to a point after being angry with Christianity, I said to myself, you know what, let me take a step back because sometimes I've always felt that in order to find truth, what if every single religion, so to say, has their own piece of truth? That's what I came to, like, you know, I was like, okay, that could be it. So what I began to do then, once I realised that, I said, you know what, I am completely ignoring the messenger, completely. And this is where I stopped looking at characters, um, because like I said, in my last week's video, you can get too caught up in characters sometimes and it's just a bit confusing. But I thought, you know what, forget the character, what is the message being said? And then once I looked at it that way, things started making more sense. And then not only just that in, um, like from the Bible, but with everything in life, absolutely everything. I literally just take the message of what is being said. Now this can go from, it could even still be from a pastor, a preacher, it could even be from, I'm going to extremes here, Joe Biden for crying out loud, or Trump, <laughs> you know. Forget the messenger, for, forget them, it really doesn't matter what are they saying, what are their actions saying, what what are the similarities and the, the um, what's the common denominator? Like we learnt that in maths. What is the common denominator? And that was basically my mindset. It's like, okay, what are the similarities? Ignore the messenger. What's the common de denominator around everything? Because I never believed that the Bible in itself, in its entirety, the 66 books of the Bible, King James Version precisely, was the absolute truth. And it always fought against my natural being when I was a Christian to believe that or to adopt that because I'm like that don't make one drop of sense it doesn't make one drop of sense for one book to be the absolute truth in this whole realm like it really doesn't and I, I, I know that I was so attached to Christianity before obviously I was because you know <laughs> I say it sometime but I was so attached so obviously it was just like oh you know this way I have to create you know, this story that they're telling me has to be the truth. But no, it doesn't. It really doesn't. Like, I really feel that the truth is the same throughout 
because the truth is the truth. I feel that truth resonates on the same level as love. Now, obviously, I'm, I'm jumping into vibrationally here. So that's how I look at things now. I'm like, okay, how is this resonating for me? Is it vibrating in unity and oneness of all? Or is it causing division? And that's how I search for truth now. Um, as you can see, there's many contradictions in the Bible, so, you know, that you can say is contradictions that says, you know, we're meant to be one, but then there's a complete division and separation. And for me, I'm just like, now we have to go elsewhere. You can't just stick to one book. What's the common denominator? I feel like I've kind of rambled on, but does that make sense though? That's how I view truth now that's how i look for truth i look for the common the common denominator across the whole realm and to me it's just easier to find that's the truth it's truth so how to find truth is look for the common denominator look for the common denominator and then i feel you'll be able to navigate through the lies and the deception like now i can look at the bible now i do look at the bible and now i hear the word god and like the lord and blah blah and i don't feel angry like before i used to feel and and there was a pain there there really was because i had a lot of hurt which is normal but now i'm just like nah man all right <laughs> so what's everyone saying because interestingly enough you know part of jesus's life the, you know, the, the, the big amount of his life that they chose to miss out of the Bible. Um, he supposedly went around to different places. So quite simply, he also was looking for the common denominator. Now I'm using that as an example. So that's how I search for truth now. I don't hold true, I don't hold any idea as ultimate truth. I do not, um, no, I don't even gravitate just like, oh no, this has to be. No, uh, it's just like, what is the common theme throughout the place? I'm, I'm not interested in proving my own theory or anything right or correct. I personally, I'm just interested in the truth. So, so ultimately, and a big thing before that is asking questions like searching for truth, like the biggest thing you need to ask questions, just keep asking questions and keep looking for the common denominator. That is how I've found, I'll say the road to truth. I do feel that I am on the road to truth now because I feel love. I feel love, like I'm just happy. I'm not happy all the time, <laughs> but I feel love like genuinely so. Yes, that's how I find truth anyway. How do you find truth? Do you resonate with this? video um like i says i feel that we all have the truth but this truth is fragmented and i feel that us actually coming together as one harmonized system then we can all put the piece the, like the puzzle pieces together that's how i've always found it so that's why it's like i'm not interested anymore in division i'm not interested in division it doesn't make sense so yeah it just doesn't make sense to me anyway anyway <laughs> um i think that's enough for this video what are your thoughts anyway it's a quick one let me know in the comments below thank you for taking the time to what for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one whenever it will be either next week or probably in a few days but see ya